Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today guys I'm going to show you how I make my version of pepper steak okay so look if you haven't already grab your ingredients subscribe to my channel and let's get started all right guys so look the first thing we are going to do is prepare our meat I am using two ribeyes for this recipe today now flank steak is definitely the ideal cut but if you don't have flank ste steak or can't get access to it ribeye makes the perfect substitution okay so I'm just gonna slice this up into small strips. I wanted to show you guys this part so you know exactly what I'm doing. Um, you do the same thing with the flank steak if you were to pick that. Um, you know, ribeye is already tender, so you don't have to tenderize this either. Um, the most tenderizer we're gonna get out of this is what we put into the bowl, all right? But go ahead and cut that up into strips. For an easier cut, you can freeze your meat, all right? I did not freeze mine. I wanted it to be a little bit more closer to room temperature, all right? So look, here's our bowl. I have my meat in here. I'm going to start marinating it by putting in a third cup of low sodium soy sauce, okay? If you want to cut down on that, you can. I'm using a, a teaspoon of ground ginger because I don't have any fresh ginger, so I'm going to use the ground. It's perfectly fine. A tablespoon of rice wine vinegar. That is optional. I'm also using a teaspoon of black pepper. And we're going to go in as well with a tablespoon of duck fat. If you guys have not purchased any duck fat, that's okay. All right, you don't have to go get it. Just get you some oil, vegetable oil. I'm using a one to two tablespoons of honey. Believe me, you're gonna need the sweetness to balance out the saltiness, okay? That's not too much honey. And then we added in a tablespoon of the baking powder. All right, so go ahead, give that a quick mix. The baking powder or baking soda is going to help try to tenderize this. Now listen, if it sounds like a science experiment about to blow up, that's okay. Remember, we added all types of ingredients that interact with each other. It's perfectly fine, okay? Just sit it to the side and let's work on our sauce. So look, here I'm adding in a half cup of soy sauce, low sodium again, one heaping tablespoon of brown sugar. Make sure you add your sugar, guys. I'm telling you, it's gonna be a hot, salty mess if you don't. We're going in with one tablespoon of oyster sauce. If you don't have oyster but you have hoisin, you can use that. We need three tablespoons of water, a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper, that's optional, just to give it a little kick. <laughs> and then we're gonna add in a teaspoon of cornstarch. And y'all, that's it. If you want a thicker starch, I mean, Lord, a thicker sauce, you can add additional cornstarch to that. We give it a quick mix, set it to the side, okay? And look guys, we're over medium heat, I am using my wok. If you don't have a wok, please don't go buy one, unless you want to. But um, get you some type of pan that's non-stick that you can cook in, okay? I like using my wok for these types of recipes because it's just the perfect tool for it. Why not, you know? I'm adding in some vegetable oil. We're over medium heat. And you want to carefully place your meat into the pan. And we're going to sear it for about two to three minutes per side. Now, don't just slap it over in there like I did. I mean, I was I was getting popped by the oil and I, I dropped it by mistake. Don't be like me, okay? Be better than me. And we're going to cook this, like I said, for about two to three minutes per side. Now the honey in this meat mixture is definitely gonna cause this meat to stick. And that's okay, we want it to have nice color and a nice char, look at that. Baby, you can eat that right on up out of there once you get the other side cooked, I'm telling you, okay? But go ahead and sear that, make sure you get it all nice and cooked up. Um, we don't want this to be undercooked, just go ahead and cook it through, it's whereby it's very tender. Um, if you cook it too long, it will get a little tough. So. You know, just cook it just for about two minutes on both sides, per side. And that's what we should get right there. Look at that. I ate that piece right there. I put it back in there like I wasn't going to eat it, but I turned around and ate it. <laughs> and it was good, honey. All right. So look, go ahead and grab your bowl, remove your meat, set it to the side, and we're going to start on the second batch. I decided to do this in batches because I wanted to get a nice sear. I didn't want to boil the meat, okay? So I'm just adding the extra meat in. I only needed to do this twice. Cause the bottom of my walk is very small but then it's big at the same time but i only did it twice there's my meat it's cooked i didn't go through all the steps there taking it putting it in another bowl with the well with the other meat and that's it now let me tell you this when you cook at high temperatures in this walk and then you have all those types of ingredients that we use you are most likely going to burn something and that's okay 
if you need to if it gets out of control for you just turn your heat off or turn it down and get rid of those bits it's perfectly fine okay but don't smoke out your house and blame me I'm, I'm telling you now all right so I'm adding in a tablespoon of garlic uh, two bell peppers chopped I highly recommend that you add your garlic in last so you don't burn it because burnt garlic is disgusting all right you're gonna add in one small onion that has been roughly chopped Make sure you chop your peppers and your onions so that they are thick and can withstand the sauce and this heat, okay? You don't want them to get mushy. So go ahead and chop those up real rough and go ahead and give them a quick mix. We don't have to add anything to them. We're going to add in our beef that we cooked already. Look at it. Honey, that's a perfect meal right there. I mean right there. It, right there alone. I'm telling you. I mean, good lord. Okay, next, the sauce we made. Remember that? We're adding it in. Add it around the rim, okay? If it's at a high enough heat, it'll start to boil and bubble, and it will reduce, and we're gonna simmer that, all right? So stir it, simmer it until that sauce thickens. That should take about two, three minutes, maybe four, maybe five. Depends on your, your high heat cooking. And look, y'all, that is it. This is a quick, easy 30 minute meal. It takes absolutely no time at all, I promise, all right? So look, let's go ahead and plate it up. And there you have it, guys. Our delicious homemade stir-fried pepper steak at the house, honey. And let me tell you, it is something worth tasting. I promise you. Okay? So, look. Yeah. It's our sad piece. Yep. Y'all heard what he said. <laughs> it's good. And check out my homemade, homemade, child. My custom-made chopsticks from Forked Again on Instagram. I absolutely love this set, you guys. But look, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. If you check out this recipe and you try it out, let me know down in the comments. And I will see y'all next time in the next video. Bye! And the curve, subscribe to our channel. That's right. <laughs> subscribe to our channel. Bye! <laughs>